Hello Aries and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I um, current energy, oh boy. Oh boy, you're out here. I, I feel like you're out here doing great, Collective. You're in star energy, you're healing, you're, you're putting love into yourself. Um, I feel like you are the Ten of Cups. You just are the Ten of Cups, okay? Um, your wish fulfillment right now. And I feel like a lot of people are seeing you. Um, you're out here glowing in the public eye. You know, star energy. You don't have to be on stage or a movie star or anything like that for those of you new to tarot, right? Um, this, is, this is the divine kind of putting you front and center, and, and giving you a glow up and you're taking good care of you and you, you could be an empath, a healer, somebody who's a guide for other people, someone who's helpful and cares. You know what I mean? Um, you don't, this is my, you don't have to be a star baby to be in my show. This is the divine um, raising you up and putting you in the public eye. And I feel like you're literally a lot of people's wish fulfillment right now. You really are. But I feel like, um, I feel like you're, it's almost like you're protecting yourself here. You're not, you're, you're, you're putting yourself out there, but I'm feeling this quietness about you. Like you're not, you're not dating, even though people are interested in you. Um, yeah. And here's somebody here who, um, I feel like they're hanging on to you. They're, they were giving to other people, but now they're hanging on to you here. They're feeling pretty intimidated. You're both being very quiet. Like, you don't really believe, like, this is not a good time to talk to you right now, maybe. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is not a good time to talk. Um, and you honestly are living such a peaceful, happy life right now. I feel like you're, you're guarded um, to, like, anything from your past that's going to stir it up. All right, you don't want any chaos. This is my hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. I don't want any part of any kind of riffraff, right? Um, and there's a person here, I feel like this is somebody who's been watching you. They could be seeing you like um, climbing the top to this, this wheel of fortune here, kind of being on the top of your game right now. Uh, you could be very abundant right now, just um, starting a new cycle. And your person, I feel like they feel pretty stuck. Uh, I'm also seeing this as a big metal vault door that's closing on this person. This is a cycle coming to an end and a new one starting. Okay, and I feel like you're, you know that. And right now, you're finally in a place of peace. You're happy um, in your life. Uh, you could be happy in any connections you may have. Oh, this all came out. You could have a lot of options around you, or this person's looking at your abundance. They're, they're seeing you now um, for everything that you can bring to the table and who you are and your abilities. They're watching you, and now this person wants to get you to calmer waters. But see, this is somebody who had you stuck and trapped in your mind. You know, and I feel like if they come back to get you now, they'll, you're going to, they're going to be face planting you right amongst all of these swords. Guys, this retrograde, six planet retrograde going on right now, and it is brutal. I'm so sorry about my speech. It's really screwing me up. But yeah, um, I feel like it's going to maybe get you in a mental mind trap again. Clarify this six of swords. Because they're still juggling you with somebody else. They're still giving to someone else, but they don't want to let you go. And the door is closing on this person. You don't want to have anything to do with this, with any kind of riffraff right now. I feel like you've healed yourself from this mental mind trap because you're not in that, you're not in that energy anymore. You're actually at peace. You've healed. You've forgiven, I feel. 
and now you're happy. You're at least you're headed towards your your ten of cups, which is like an ultimate dream life. That's kind of what you're living right now, and you're protecting it. That's the feeling that I'm getting off of you. Being really, really quiet. Um, not really reaching out to anybody, just doing your own thing, happy being a, on your own, happy doing what you're doing because you're doing something that you love. Um, yeah, you're no longer in this mind trap, but this person is still juggling, okay? I feel like they can't stop focusing on you. They just don't want to let you go. Um, I can see this too as them losing pentacles, but I feel like it's more um, that they're with somebody else right now, giving to someone else, wanting to come to you, but I feel like they kind of know this door is closed, okay? They kind of know the door is closed. You're not speaking to this person. You haven't talked to them since they ghosted you and, and put you in this in this place, right? That was in the beginning of your journey. Now I feel like you've made it through the last cycle, okay? And you've come out on top in star energy. You're no longer in a mental mind trap. Um, yeah, I feel like this person is about to come towards you. You could be another tarot card reader or they could be getting tarot readings, looking into the situation, what's going on around you. I feel like they are getting tarot card readings, I got to say. Yeah, do you have somebody new, right? They're trying to find out if you have somebody new. Um, either you're the reader or they are, or I mean, or they're going to one. They could be doing their own readings too, since I said that. But yeah, I feel like um, they're trying to look into this. They're getting readings. And they're trying to find out if you have somebody new coming into the picture. Because you're not talking. They want to come towards you, I feel, but you're not speaking to them yet. They want some clarity. They could be finding out you've got somebody new, yep. Yeah? They're finding out you've got somebody new. Look at this. Or that you have new love coming. I'm not so sure you've met this person yet, but this is someone new. Yeah, I feel, I feel like they're, they're watching a lot of tarot card readings, okay? And every time they see a reading, like to me, this is a reading, right? Each one of these is a separate reading. And every time they see it, it gives them something to cry about. Um, every time they, they get a reading on you, because I feel like that's what they're doing here, impulsive moves, um, yeah, yeah, they're seeing that you're have you may be getting a new soulmate connection and that you're the empress. Oh man, yeah, I feel like this person is um getting readings done on you, they may even be paying money for it. Okay, um, and every time they hear a reading, they're finding out that, that love is getting closer and closer to you. New love, okay? Um, blessings. They are finding out you were the blessing in love. They're finding out for some of you that you've, you've already got new love. This person's heart is, is breaking. And on top of that, they're realizing just how abundant you are. You are every queen in the deck here, number one. You don't need anybody, okay? You're good on your own up here. See, there's where it is. You're happy on your own. You're the Ten of Cups. You're, um, you're the Empress. Uh, you're extremely abundant. You're leveling up in your life. You could be a boss, business owner, um, very successful. You could even have gotten pregnant. If you've gotten pregnant here with a new love, this person's falling apart. They're falling apart. But I'm, you know, I'm not feeling the pregnancy thing for all of you. Maybe a, a handful of you. I don't know. Some of you have found new love and have gotten pregnant. Um, some of you, they just know new love is coming towards you. Whatever they're hearing in tarot, it's tearing this person apart. Um, you know, we've got the nine of swords. They, they, they're in a mental mind trap. Okay, they're in the eight of swords. I feel like 
you know, they've got eight swords here. They're trapped and stuck in their mind. This is all they can think about. They're obsessed about hearing what you're doing, getting any kind of clarity on the situation at all. Um, they're stuck in their head. Things that they're being told and hearing about you with somebody else. All of these, all of these swords going to a high priestess for clarity. That's tarot card readings. Okay, something like that. A high priestess to get clarity is trying to go, you know, listening or watching tarot um, or doing it themselves. And every time they do, they get a new piece of information. They've gone, they've seen a lot of readings or have gotten a lot of readings on you. And every time they walk away crying, the, every piece of information they get about this it's literally like killing this person inside. Um, and they're finding out that you're getting new love. So for some of you, like I said, you've gotten pregnant. They can't handle this. And I feel like um, they, they're watching whatever it is that you're doing. They're watching really close. Earth Angel Energy, yeah, they've got competition. Your man, either you already have new love, or you've gotten pregnant, or you have people coming out of the woodwork and you're manifesting new love. They're freaked out. They're hearing everything about you getting somebody new, no matter what the scenario is, moving on with your life, right? And this person, man... They all, they walk away from every tarot reading crying, I'm telling you, with this information. Yeah, they're missing out. And here's the thing. The longer they sit here and cry about it and try to, you know, scope you out behind the scenes, right? Try to get in, in, intel on you, information. The longer they do this, the, the bigger the chance they have at missing out on this blessing, Okay. Um, for some of you, they already have missed out. They're, they're butthurt. They're, um, they spend a lot of time alone, you know, and then they hear the gossip about you at the same time. This person's every piece of information they're getting, whether it's tarot or gossip in the community, it's driving them bat crazy, okay? I'm telling you. They cannot stand this. I don't know what. And it's like they're obsessively either getting tarot readings or they're just listening to a whole lot of gossip. Everything added together is just more than they can bear. Yeah, you're moving forward. You're moving on. That wand that you're holding, you're taking control of your life and you've got a passionate new beginning. I'm telling you, you've got a passionate new beginning here. This person could work a lot. They may even like work at a job that they hate just to try to escape the thoughts in their head about you being with somebody else. Um, they could even have a hard time at work right now. Because this is kind of like they're having a breakdown in their life. They're really mopey. They're not talking to anybody. They've got I've got people here checking on them, right? Hey, dude, is everything okay? Because they're in a dark place. Or maybe they're not doing well at work and they need to step up their game. It's all because this person is um, so burdened by what you're doing and the information that they're hearing about you. Like, they won't come and talk to you, right? Because they're too um, intimidated. They're scared to come and talk to you. If they're getting their information, yeah, that you're moving on. You're moving on. Because they may have been in a toxic situation. They may have abandoned you for something that was toxic, lied, betrayed you, had in and out energy, okay? Yeah, and you, I feel like you ended up being the Ten of Pentacles. This person could have even gotten married to somebody else. So you moved on. What are you going to do? I mean, if this person is, is with somebody else, you're not, 
the, the queen of, of wands energy, the, this isn't somebody who's just going to sit around and wait for somebody. The queen of wands energy passionately goes after what she wants. She's got a fire lit under her butt. She's motivated. You know what I mean? And I, I feel like you're the sexiest queen out here, too. So you're, you're extremely good looking, sexy. Um, you're, you're, you've got this coolness about you, right? Look at how you're just chilling in your, in your throne. <laughs> I mean, you're cool. You're comfortable, okay? And, uh, yeah, you're moving forward. And I feel like you're getting new love. This person could have gotten committed to somebody else or they, um, they may even have a wedding coming up and they can't stop thinking about you. I feel like this person needs to, you know, either let you go and move on and get on with what they chose instead of you or they need to open up and communicate. Okay. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, they're, they're feeling out in the cold, but they're thinking about you. They're feeling out in the cold, but they're thinking about you. You are an option to this person. And I feel like uh, they chose a toxic person. Um, they could have married them and committed with them, and now they're like this. All right? Maybe they thought that the grass was going to be greener on the other side. Nothing's growing for them. They're low on their money here, a lot of financial burdens, possibly even bad health. They may even need some kind of money help, uh, but they can't stop thinking about you. They don't know how they're, it's like they want to, they want to stop thinking about you, but they can't. They want to put this to rest, but they can't. They're literally obsessively, like they're obsessed they're obsessed. Yeah. And you know what? That came out in reverse. Yeah. Death. They don't want any other option. They only want you. They don't want any other option. The problem is, is this person waited way too long and you moved on. I don't know how else to put it. You moved on. I feel like too, they can't stop watching you. Um, this person could get busted a lot watching your, like, looking at you on their cell phone. Um, yeah, I'm getting that again, guys. I've been picking up on that, that this person watches you on their cell phone, tries to get um, tarot readings on you. You could even be another reader out here, and they're watching you on their cell, okay? And they keep getting busted, by whatever toxic partner they chose, this page of swords. So basically, they turned down an empress, a star, somebody intuitive, possibly their twin flame, a divine feminine who's moving forward into a beautiful, beautiful new beginning that's abundant for a page. They turned you down for a page in a toxic commitment. And now they keep watching, they keep trying to find, there's that Ace of Swords right there, see? They keep looking for information on you, watching you on their cell phone, that kind of thing. Um, and they keep getting busted. They keep getting busted. I, I, I've been picking up on that. So, you know, I mean, they, clearly they're juggling and it's like they want to put this to rest. They don't, they hate this it's become a way of life, obsessing about you and fighting with this karmic individual, this little page of swords here. Um, that's become their way of life, and they hate it. They hate it. But it's like they're, it's like a loop, okay? This is like a daily event, a collective. So whatever you're putting out there, they're watching you or they're getting readings on you. Take it however it resonates, but that's what I'm getting. It's like 24 seven, man. And what they're seeing, uh, you don't even know that they're watching you, okay? Um, and they could be, I feel like you're trying to keep your moves hidden too, but um, they're seeing you become extremely abundant. They're seeing you do your own thing. 
Um, there's, you're working on something. This takes a lot of effort here. This is something you worked really, really hard on, and it's become very successful. Yeah. I feel like this person is in awe. I feel like they can't, you're fascinating to them. And they cannot stop trying to find find out what you're doing. They, you know, I feel like they're getting tarot readings and a lot of them. And there's gossip. Clarify this moon. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, see, this person secretly watches you and then they get busted. And anything that, like, now they can see who you really are. I feel like they underestimated you greatly. And you flipped into the Empress in the Minor Arcana. And we got the Empress here, too. You flipped into the Empress on this person. Um, and now they're seeing it. Everything that was, that was hidden is coming out. And I feel like that's with this situation. They're, this person, they're literally... Uh, they have this, it's insatiable. They cannot stop focusing on you. And they constantly keep getting busted watching you. They try to keep it hidden, but they keep getting busted by whoever they're with. This uh, immature page of swords, the one they chose instead of their empress, okay? And all these two do is fight. These two do not get along. So they're fighting over you, right? Um, they could be telling this karmic how they feel about you. The secrets are coming out here. Anything hidden in the dark is coming out into the light. Because they just cannot keep doing this. They can't keep walking around with these burdens. They don't want to keep just getting readings on you. They don't want to keep just, you know, watching you and getting busted, you know? But yeah, some of you are moving on. I feel like the big secret coming out is one, that you're being blessed with a lot of money here, a lot of abundance. And two, this person wants a new beginning with you. I feel like it's everything. I feel like you're having a new beginning and they're freaking out. They can't stop watching you. The karmic freaks out. They need to make a decision here. What's it going to be? right? It needs to come out what this person wants to do. They need to make a decision and they need to tell the truth and everything that they've kept hidden, it needs to come out. Like I said too, you could, some of you could be pregnant and they're finding that out. There could be a baby on the way. And they're finding that out. This is one of the things that are killing this person. But yet they haven't come to talk to you. Right? Yeah, they want to come forward and apologize here. You could be dealing with, let me call out some signs for you. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, um, Aries, Virgo, Capricorn. Leo is out here. Yeah. Give me one more for the collective. But they keep getting busted. It behind the scenes collective. All these all the this karmic and your person, all they do is fight. You know, they don't want to be there anymore. They're 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 focused on you, completely focused on you. Like this is how their day goes, right? They get up, they may watch some tarot card readings, right? They may go to work. I feel like they're so obsessed with you, though. They have a hard time thinking about work. They could be having trouble at their job, all right? They come home, they look at your picture, or they watch more tarot card readings. Then they get busted by the karmic, and they start fighting over you. And, I mean, it's just it's just a, a loop. It, it, the, the same thing happens the next day and the next day. Because the and the and the obsession keeps growing stronger, and it's like they don't want to hear this news, but they can't, they can't stop but wanting to hear what's going on with you. All right, so what else can you show me? 
This person is torturing themselves with this. Seriously. Seriously, they're torturing themselves right now. All right, so, and you're moving on. You're like, la, la, la. You're not paying attention to any of this. You're out here being happy, independent. Um, some of you are single. Some of you have just gotten love. And some of you have gotten pregnant. Either way, you are, you're happy. You're happy, collective. Okay, it's, it's kind of all-encompassing here on this. Yeah, this person, they would do just about anything to turn this around. They lost an empress and they chose a page of swords. That's what they did. And now, you know, they want to come back around. You being with somebody else, the thought of you having new love is, is eating them alive. Um, yeah, and all they see you out here doing is glowing, looking beautiful, and leveling up in your life. This is driving this person crazy. Anyway, Collective, that's the current energy that I've got right now on the table. <laughs>